Hello everyone, welcome back to the brutal and unforgiving world of Neo Scavenger. Let's begin a new life. Okay, I want to go with a little bit of a different character here. So, I want to take trapping. I want to be a kind of ranged person who runs away and hides. Of course, actually finding a ranged weapon or crafting one is going to be pretty difficult, but... Yeah, I want to try it. Okay, so let's, so let's go with Athletic so I can run away. And let's go with Hiding so I can also run away. And let's go with Ranged. Alright, so I've got Trapping for a bit of food. Athletic and Hiding for running. Ranged for my ranged combat. I do want something more. Um. Oh yeah, uh, Medic. Let's take Medic. So, let's go with Metabolism. Okay, do I want another one? Hmm. No, this is fine. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's see, what can I use, what can I do with my medic? Emergency dump another stasis tank. Find some place to hide. Yeah, we'll see what happens when I do that. You, you quickly scan the room for a hiding place and duck behind the cryo tank nearest the window. Hopefully the light from outdoors will make it harder to see you in the nearby shadow. And with most of the room smelling of cryoprotectants, you stand a pretty good chance of having your scent masked. You hold your breath as something enters the room. Its heavy breathing becomes more nasal as it begins sniffing the air. The sniffing grows closer, but continues further into the room. It lets out an annoyed bark, huffs, and starts sniffing back into the hall. A few minutes later, you're pretty sure it's out of earshot again. Okay, scan for records, that doesn't do anything. Okay, let's leave. Gonna be skipping stuff that I've already done, of course. So again, let's scavenge. I, now that I have the medic skill, I should be able to get a... Um, a first aid kit type thing. Here we go. Yes. Extremely valuable. Some rags, some painkillers, and, probably the most important thing, some antibiotics. Ah, uh, could've used those before, huh? Okay. Um... Hmm. You know, one life that I had before I was actually recording was quite interesting. I believe I found something neat. Kind of up and to the left. The thing is, I don't know if some of the locations are randomized in the game. Now, I know the location of this cryo facility and of the glow is always the same, I think. And I'm not sure about the other places. I'm, I'm guessing they're probably not randomized, but I'm not really sure. Anyway, assuming it's not randomized, I think it was somewhere up and to the left. Scavenge discreetly. <laughs> makes my sneak a lot better, but it also makes my loot chance extremely poor. I don't think I'm going to find anything. No, what's the point? I mean, I might find berries, but I don't have botany, so I won't be able to tell if they're poisonous, which means I'm not going to eat them because I'm not freaking crazy. Obviously, my immediate goal is once again to find something warm. I've already got moderate hypothermia. Jesus Christ. Okay, I've already seen this. Please give me something warm. Please, please, for the love of God. Oh, great. I was hurt. Ro rotted floorboards. Your foot slips through a rotting floorboard, causing you to trip. The scrapes and bruises will sting for a while, but thankfully it wasn't more serious. Right, so I have bruises and scratches and hypothermia. We're off to a wonderful start. building. I'm about to die. Look, look at this. I'm almost dead. It's gonna be a fast life. Oh, none of that's helpful. Well, okay, that's helpful, but it's not gonna keep me warm. Guess I'll take some dirty rags, why not? And a bottle, I suppose. 
Mending Fences In the wake of growing global security concerns, the U.S. military has begun an unprecedented amount of spending on security re revitalization. Facilities across the U.S. are seeing ramp-ups in both security forces and technology. Michigan's own Camp Grayling has... Wait, I've already read this. I might have read this. Camp Grayling has already begun a new energized perimeter project, inciting concerns among civil rights groups and local residents alike. No, I haven't read this, but I did read something about Camp Grayling. Hmm. Oh, I see. I just realized what the creator of this game has done. So when you get down to the point where you're pretty much dead, it seems like it forces this event where you find a sleeping bag. That's pretty cool. Okay, let's take it. Because I'm going to have to get in it if I want to live. I guess I'm just going to rest. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, might as well try to sleep, I guess. <laughs> hmm, got some extra bars up here. Concealment, which I'm assuming I can see because of my hiding skill. And alertness, I think, is because of my trapping skill. And healing is, of course, because of my uh, medic skill. Pretty cool. to get my warmth up. Okay. <sighs> I can move now. It's kind of late at night, so I'm actually going to get cold even faster. And I can't take it with me. I don't believe I have enough room, even with a bag, right? Nope. Oh, wait, I can put it in one of my hands. Oh, in that case, I'm certainly taking it with me. It's the only thing keeping me alive. Okay, let's put this in my bag. Forget the bottle, and let's keep a weapon in here. Actually, no, I should probably craft a shiv. Yeah, let's do that. That is... What's the condition? Pretty bad. It's not going to last very long. There we go. Actually, maybe I should craft two. I'm not sure if they stack. We're about to find out. Uh, they do. Cool. There we go. I'll keep some more shards for general cutlery. And good to go. Okay, need some clothes. Hi. Right, well, I don't really have time to worry about him, so I'm just gonna scab Finge. Actually, I can't. Oh god. Oh god. Hmm. They're tough. But they're also barefoot, and their only weapon is a Wolverine black whiskey bottle, which makes them sound like a drunk. Oh god. The last action from the stranger was, Stranger picks up Shard. <laughs> what are you going to do with that, buddy? Offer to talk? No, fuck that. Hold on, I think having the hiding skill gives me a special ability, doesn't it? Let me check. Maybe it doesn't apply here. I'm not sure. Terrain's difficult, though, so I'm not sure if I want to sprint. Hmm. I'm just going to retreat. Okay, it worked. Cool. Oh, Jesus. Do I want to run? Let's see what they do. I'm going to kind of run away a little bit. Again? It's the same dude. 
Okay, well, I'm not visible, and they're also really far away, so let's just do a hidden retreat. Okay. Oh, here's the glow. Cool. What the? There's someone here? Oh, okay. Right, I need to scavenge this building and uh, get my sleeping bag going. Try this one first. Who cares about sneak at this point? I just need clothes. <sighs> that doesn't help. Okay, do I want to drink unpurified water? I do have antibiotics. Ooh, ooh, I've even got more antibiotics. Holy shit, look at all this medicine! I've had a jackpot here. Maybe not the jackpot I exactly need, but damn. Prescription painkillers, a ton of them. Those are actual painkillers, right? Hydrocodone, damn. And amoxicillin, let me make sure that is actually amoxicillin. It is. Just want to make sure somebody hasn't replaced them with sugar pills or something. And water purification tablets. Oh. This is... Oh, man, this is amazing. Only I don't really have much storage room. Hmm. Well, I need them. And I need my sleeping bag. What I don't need are the glass shivs. At least not there. Okay, so I'm just going to have the glass shivs here. Just take all the medication. Fits perfectly. Unfortunately, I don't have the bottle anymore to put the water in. Um, oh, yeah, I've got another plastic bag. So, yeah, let's do that. A little bit of room. What else do I want to take? Big string? Oh, technically medium string, but it's big compared to the small string. <sighs> I really don't want to drink unpurified water. I'm doing okay. I'm, I'm parched. I'm weak with thirst. It's not good, but... It's not horrible. Oh yeah, and here's the detailed medical bars. Now that I actually have the medical skill. Blood supply, immune system, pain tolerance, doing pretty good. Let's set up a camp. Not ah, gotta put it on the ground. Which one's better? Well, this one seems to be a lot better. A used stash at self storage facility is a lot better than an abandoned IT office, really? Well, actually, it's less shelter, but it's a lot better healing. And much better concealment, too. I'll take it. Oh, God. Oh, fuck me. Somebody with a Buckmaster 308 hunting rifle. Okay, thank God, though, they don't see me. So it's at nighttime, I'm good at hiding, and they don't see me. So I'm just going to... Hmm. It's just hidden retreat. I mean, the truth is, I just want to hide in this square. Which I actually should have done before, but I forgot to. Fuck. I, I need to go back there, though. My fucking... Uh, I, I need my sleeping pepper. I'm gonna die. Okay. Thank God they left. Oh my God, this piece of shit again. <sighs> Once again, I'm not visible. I don't want to actually move away, though. Uh, that's another person with a Wolverine Black Whiskey bottle. Might be the same person. Except now they're fallen, vulnerable, and unconscious, and blind, and barefoot. <laughs> yeah, I think they're... That sounds like a drunk. Another hidden retreat. I have to go back there. I'm going to freeze to death. God damn it! 
I'm literally going to freeze to death. In fact, I might just freeze to death before I can even do anything. I'm not sure what to do here. I need to be here. Or I'm going to die. I'm going to have to offer to talk. I'm probably about to get shot, but... I mean, hopefully this person sees me as such a non-threat because of my lack of clothes or weapons of any sort that they'll take pity on me. Oh, God. Stranger tries to attack player but misses. Fuck. Started wielding the rifle and is now advancing towards me. I'm going to sprint away. Okay, excellent. Let's try to retreat. Okay, it worked. But I'm about to freeze to death. I have severe hypothermia. God damn it. Wait, is that the same guy? Or is that someone else that moved in? I don't see the rifle. Well, if they do have a rifle, they they don't have it out yet. Also, I'm not visible. <sighs> what am I going to do? Punch him to death? Fuck. I'm going to die. I'm just going to sneak towards. Player is tripped. Oh. And now I'm visible. Great. There's no way I can win. Right? Mm. Ceasefire? Nobody's actually fired yet. Offer to talk? No way they're going to talk. I'm just going to get up. Strangers advancing towards me. Ooh, what is this? I've got specials. Lure. Tries to use the environment against the target. Chance to knock down target, make them lose one turn. Chance to damage target. Okay. Ooh, what did that do? Good things? Um, I'm not even sure where, where the turn... I guess it was here. Tries to tackle player, misses. Ooh, they fall into the ground. Exposed. Yep. Lured you into a trap. Upper chest was scratched. Bad mother is bleeding. Okay. Maybe I stand a chance. I pretty much have to fight them at this point. Threatening is not going to work, so I don't really have anything to threaten with. Um, let's... Let's charge. Okay, seemed to work. Let's kick them while they're down. Right leg was battered. Excellent. And let's kick him again. Lower stomach was battered. Let's punch him. Punch him while they're down. Barely affected Bad Mother's armor with a punch. Damn it. Armor. Hmm. Punch you again. Ooh, I'm vulnerable. What just happened? Crap, I've been battered with punches. Fuck. No, 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 wait. There's lore. That didn't seem to go so well. Uh, offer a ceasefire? Yeah, I don't think that worked. I offered to cease fire and now I have a crippled left arm. I'm in shock and I'm unconscious and I've fallen and I'm distracted and I'm bleeding. <laughs> I think I might have just lost. Just maybe. 
Okay. Let's wait until I die. Checking my body for loot, you fuck. Wait, I'm alive? I'm... wow. Okay. They finally fucked off. At least I'm not gonna freeze to death. Okay, uh, what's wrong with me? Hmm. There's a lot of things wrong with me. Oh, motherfucker. My medical supplies. My everything. Motherfucker. He even took my plastic bag. At least he left one of them. The one that's at 8.9% condition. Fine, I guess I'll patch up my wounds with dirty rags. Can't wait to get an infection that I can't cure because I don't have any medicine. Well, might as well take this bottle. It's full of water. Can't even use it as a pain reliever. Hold on, can I break this thing? It turn into shards. Broken bottle? Yeah, a broken bottle seems like a better weapon than a shard. At least it actually has a handle. Wait a- wait a minute, did he take the fucking sleeping bag? He took the fucking sleeping bag. I'm dead. <laughs> I can, can try and hobble my way to some loot. I'm gonna die before I get anywhere. Fuck. Any minute now. And I'm dying of thirst. This life is not going so well, huh? Oh, okay. That's an improvement. I might not freeze to death now. Okay, well, fuck purifying water. I just need a drink. One shoe, I'll take it. <laughs> That'd be really uncomfortable, wouldn't it, to walk with one shoe? Actually, I wonder if walking with one shoe is worse than walking with two. What if you alternated between the feet? Have it on one foot for an hour, another one for the other hour? Hmm. I don't know, it doesn't seem good. Okay, so I guess my most immediate concern is not clothes anymore, it's, f uh, water. See, my temperature actually goes up, though, because at the moment, it's not. Hmm. <laughs> Are you fucking serious? I just put that t-shirt on, and it just fell apart. I had it on for literally, like, two hours. Oh, okay, well, I'm certainly not going to freeze to death now. Damn. Jackpot of clothes. Alright, this has more storage space. Fifty-two percent condition, not bad. Hoodie, excellent. Put on another t-shirt, yep. Okay, cool. Need water. Also, I have no idea where this cool thing is that I saw up at the top left is. I, I don't know where the hell it is. Forget it. I'm gonna start going to the right. Also, how come I can only move one square? Is it because I'm barefoot, hypothermic, in minor pain, and dehydrated? That might have something to do with it. Oh god, melon head. Alright, hypothermia is going down.
And my bag just fell apart. Shove some dirty rags in my pockets. <laughs> this is pathetic. Oh yeah, I never broke that bottle. Let's make that happen. Oh, who cares about the small parts? Water. Okay. Yes, those are probably poisonous. I'm not going to eat them. Let's drink some wonderful marsh water. Mmm. Everyone's a Jardia roulette. Might as well keep going, huh? There we go. Okay, stats-wise, I'm actually not doing too bad. I just need stuff. I, I can't believe I came back from that, actually. I, I so thought I was dead. No, oh, what the hell is this? I really don't understand what the screen is. I've seen it multiple times. I, I don't get it. It's like I'm encountering a question mark. What does that mean? Player searches for unknown target. Stranger sneaks out of battle from player. Stretch of forest. Nah. It's like no chance. I need to learn how to use my trapping skill to try to catch game, or meat, or whatever, I don't know if that's the right term. Um, I know you can do it with, like, string and, I think, wood to create some sort of a animal trap thing. But, of course, I'd probably want to actually cook the meat. Not that I have to, I'm sure I could eat it raw, but just like water, that's not exactly ideal. You want to purify it first. Oh, God, this again? actually see something. And I've finally got three moves. Okay, am I heading the right way? Yeah, I should be heading a bit more down, though. Down. I'm tired. Now is not the time to sleep, buddy. cabin in the woods here. I'm thirsty again. Really? You're already thirsty? Hmm. That was quick. Disturbingly quick. Wait, stretch of forest. What? Isn't there... I see a building here. Isn't that a little cabin? It looks like it. Oh, well. I'll go down here. Squirrel snare. Yeah, that's the thing I was going to try to make. Perfect. Two shoes. Wait a minute. How's that compared to the one I currently have? 14%, 82%. I'll take the 82%. Hmm, could make shelter with a tarp. Wait, do I have the string? Oh, I don't even have the string. I don't have enough storage space for that. We'll put that in my hand, though, because I do need food pretty bad. 
I'll eat I'll eat meat raw. If it's either that or die, I'll take it. Okay, there's another thing to scavenge. Abandoned apartment building. <laughs> More tarps. Ooh, yes. Okay, sweet. Excellent. Might as well take two. I think they stack. Yeah. 26.2% not so good, but should last for a little while. Okay, I could try the snare. I don't... Wait, how does that even work? How do I use it? Oh, it's probably when you're scavenging, right? Yeah. Okay. What? You fell down a ravine. Ah. Uh. <laughs> While trying to navigate a precarious ravine, you slip and tumble to the bottom. In the fall, you get banged up and bruised, but thankfully, nothing more serious. Great. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck, did I leave dirty rag? F I don't even have dirty rags. Okay, well, this wound appears to have healed, so now I'm going to use this same rag that's now was dirty before and is now soaked in blood, so it's even dirtier, and I'm going to use it here. That's totally sterile, right? Yeah. Haha, <laughs> I'm going to get so many different diseases. Between drinking an entire marsh full of water and putting nasty, dirty rags on all of my wounds? Yeah. Okay, let's try this again. I kind of need food. Ooh. Squirrel corpse. Excellent. Okay. Now I need to cut it up. Which I can do thanks to my... Um, brain. Brain. Come on, brain. Thanks to my bottle, right? Yes. It's only a small chunk of meat, but it's something. Now... I need to eat it soon. Or it's going to go bad. I could wait a little bit to try to find some sort of a heat source. Hold on, wait a minute. I think with my trapping skill, I can actually make a fire even without a lighter. Hold on. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. It's uh, using friction because of my trapping skill. Yep. Um, is there anything else I can do to make it bigger? More wood? Big wood? Huge wood? No. I guess it would be pretty small, wouldn't it? Okay. Actually, can I just feed the fire? Yeah, of course you can just feed the fire. Okay, cool. I'm not sure if the size actually matters. But, just in case... Wait a minute. What's the difference between a medium campfire that's lit and a medium campfire that's stoked? I don't understand what the difference is. Anyway. Let's cook up some meat. Oh, I didn't just make the fire bigger, I actually made two fires. A little baby one and a big one. They're so cute together. See, this is this is the mother fire and this is the child fire. Although it actually happened in reverse, the mother actually came from the child. It, I don't know, it's very confusing. All of that for a single small piece of meat. 
And watch, that's probably going to refill my nutrition nutrition bar by what? One tick? <laughs> yep. One tick. Great, that'll last me two more minutes. whoop de doo Alright, at least my squirrel snare is still here. Let's use it again. Nothing. Oh god. Oh god. Stranger picks up a handful of berries, white slash yellow. Well, you're gonna die of poison. I think I'm just gonna run away from you. Then again, they only have their fists. Eh, I'll offer to talk to them. They've only got fists out. They're barefoot. They're wearing rags. Hey man, you inbound or outbound? His head is on a swivel, glancing to and fro as he talks. Um, outbound. Outbound, you say confidently. Aye, aye. He immediately looks past you and moves on, as if searching for someone else. Who are you looking for? Ah, uh, nothing, man. Nothing. He moves on. Okay. I really need to sleep. Damn, two squirrels with one... with one snare that now appears to have broken into a bit of string. Damn it. Hmm. I've actually just run out of sharp objects. Shit. Or wait, oh no, never mind. I thought that got used up. Let's see if I can craft another one. With the string. Splint, no. How do I make a snare? I should have disassembled it so I know how to make it. Torch, splint, shiv, torch. Hmm. Ooh, can make a sharpened spear. Seems like an upgrade from a small piece of glass. Yes, let's make that. Okay, can I upgrade it at all? Put glass shards in the end of it, maybe? Hmm. Might need more string for that. Ah, I don't know. Let's make a fire. Yeah, this trapping skill is really useful just for the ability to make fires anywhere you want. Super nice. <laughs> Look at all the things I can make. I can make ash. I can make two small fires. I can make a big fire. I can make a s fire and a stick and food and a small fire and a big fire. That did pathetically little. Jesus. I still don't know how to make another one. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. God, I'd go to sleep, but I'm more worried about food than being tired. I'm just gonna drink it. I don't have any way to purify it. Hmm. How the hell do you make a snare? You need string, right? Okay, hold on. I need to figure this out. I'm gonna try... Maybe I just need more string. 
right? I got a handful of string, but maybe some of it's wrecked. So let me tear up one of my shirts because I've got way too many shirts. I don't need them all. Mm, I'll just tear my gown. That's a, yeah, it's a piece of crap. Who cares about it? Let's make some medium string. So let's try that. Plus a stick. Uh, plus trapping? D wait, did I use trapping before? Maybe I didn't. Maybe that's what I was missing. Ooh. Okay, so what is it that it needs? Oh, it's just... Just string and a stick? No, that's it. Okay. Yeah, string, stick, and trapping. You know, actually, I think when you do a recipe, it shows up here, right? I was just looking down at the bottom right. I just realized there's two different attack modes for the spear. Throw and stab. Uh, let's go with stab, because if I throw it and it misses, I'm kind of screwed. Anyway. Um, yep, trapping skill, medium or large shaft, small thread. Okay. Yeah, that's easy enough. Sweet. This one should last for a while, and I'm going to need to do a lot of trapping. It's my goal in life for the foreseeable future. Got one. In fact, I kind of want to just carry these around until I have more, just so I could do them all at one time. Do I have room? I don't have room. Okay. Oh, well, I'll just process it into meat. It'll be smaller then. Oh yeah, I just remembered if I use my trapping skill on that, I can also get their hides. Which I also don't really have room for and don't really care about at the moment. Don't have storage space, so forget it. You know what would be pretty neat, actually? Is if when you use the trapping skill... ...with a corpse and you're going to get its meat... Uh, ...is if it actually increased the size of the meat? Yeah, because it looks like it does not. Point to 24 kilograms. 24 kilograms. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't know, it kind of makes sense, wouldn't it? Like, you're more skilled at it, so you're better able to get the most meat from it. Like, you're more efficient at cutting. Seems plausible. Oh! Okay, um, I've seen those from afar, and they look terrifying. Judging by the fact that they're called an Enfield Horror, and they look like a freaking mutated thing. But I've never actually encountered one. Uh, it sees me. It only has a punch. Its only weapon is a punch, but I'm kind of just going to assume that it has, like, magical powers. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to fucking run. Enfield Horror retreats from player. That thing is retreating from me? Be my guest. I'm gonna do some trapping. Alright, so each use of the squirrel snare looks like it takes 20% of the condition out of it. Nothing found. I think it just wasted my turn. Ah, eh, maybe I didn't. I'm not sure. Time to hunt some squirrels at night. Hmm, my other glass shard actually did get used up. Uh, this one's at 100% though. Oh, I don't have enough moves left. Looks like it uses up 25% to use the shard once. Um, 
since I'm in a forest, I'm just going to go ahead and make the fire now. Okay, music's creeping me out. Once again, I feel like I'm going to die. Yay, I'm still malnourished. Oh, wow. My snare's at 0.1%. Okay. Should uh, probably make another one. Shit, I don't have room for it. I guess I'll replace this one. Shag in the forest. And I cut myself on some broken glass. It was a stupid mistake, but while trying to reach a blocked room from the outside, you cut yourself on the broken glass from the window. It'll sting for a while, but it isn't anything serious. Let's see, these wounds are healed. Yeah, that one's good. That one... No, nope, that one's not good yet. Alright, that one's healed. <laughs> Do you some more dirty rags? Why not? What if you can process a tarp into anything? Can you cut it up? No. Hmm. Oh, who's this? Someone who doesn't see me. Let's make a hidden retreat. Bottle of water. Well, don't have anything else I need to put in this spot, so might as well take it. Oh, I've got dirty rags down here. Whoops. Oh, I don't need these then. Nothing. So at this point, I'm thinking, what's more important, keep hunting for food or sleep? If I was to judge by the color of the bars, I would say food's a lot more important. I'm not sure what being tired actually does. Lower your movement points at some point, maybe? I don't know, let's get some something to drink. Fill that up, and there we go. Let's not scavenge an open field. Okay, now I need to sleep. Well, I'll do that. Uh, I'll do that when it comes night. Ooh. Okay, now I'm in business. I finally have a freaking vehicle. Do I have the stuff to give it a strap? Um, yes, I think I do. Okay. I think I need to make this into big string. Combine that with a string. Yes, there we go. Voila! Wonderful. Okay. Painkillers with a bunch of painkillers actually in it. Excellent. Sleeping pills, it's empty, unfortunately. 
piece of an old newspaper. And the only thing it says is, Cornicola, made with real corn syrup. Wonderful. It's useful information. Okay, so let's shove my tarp. In there. Put the more immediate stuff in here. Along with the bottle. Need more shards. Gonna run out of those. And I think I'm good. Oh yeah. This. That's a 13%. This one's at 21. It's marginally better. I'll keep that inside of here until this plastic bag breaks, and then I'll use the plastic bag from inside the broken plastic bag to replace the plastic plastic bag that broke. Confused yet? Oh, shit. I think I'll go this way. I'm actually surprisingly not doing too bad. I really thought I was dead, but nope. Now I've got to wait. Okay, I'm just going to shove the meat inside of my sled. <laughs> Raw meat slab sitting in my sled. Just keep gathering them up. Okay, get a lot of force. Should be able to get a good amount of food here. percent. Think yep, that's going to use it up. All right, let's go ahead and process the meat that I have. Oh my god, it already fucking spoiled. Some of it. Okay. Well, I got to eat it really 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 fast. God, what what has it been like 2 or 3 hours? Jesus. All right, well, I got 3 pieces of meat. Let's toss this bad stuff out. And let's make fire. And let's chow down. Mmm. Rose my bar by two ticks and I'm still malnourished. Mmm. Tastes like marginal improvements in my situation. That doesn't taste very good. Oh, it's at 1%, or 0 0.1 rather. Time to make another one. Now I've got to take it apart into handfuls of string, right? I think. Make another one. Just get it out of the way. Put one in my hand and put the other in my vehicle. Damn it, I just wasted one of my turn points. Whoops. Hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, it seems like, uh, with the trapping skill, trying to... Uh, getting enough food is not really hard, it's just really time-consuming. Ridiculously time-consuming. Hmm. I can scavenge either the stretch of forest, or, nearby, I can also scavenge the stretch of forest. I'm gonna choose the stretch of forest. Sorry, stretch of forest, but I prefer the stretch of forest over you. Oh, that's actually a good thing. It allows me to scavenge it twice. Sweet. Okay, it's turning nighttime. I'm gonna sleep soon. Let's go ahead and process this now. doing anything. Three abandoned mobile homes. Let's get busy. Oh, damn it, I just skipped through it, but apparently I was scratched. How am I doing? <laughs> a fresh wound. Great. It's okay, I put a plastic bag over it. Take some painkillers. my rags? Oh, here they are. That's weird, they don't show up. Gotta put them on the ground before I can use them. No, wait, what? Here we go. Alright, that wound's good. That one's not. That one's good. That one's still there. I think it's a little uh, shock icon that indicates it's still a an active wound. Next. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, what's the condition of my current one, actually? 23%? Okay, not bad. Another patchwork hide tunic. Ooh, mine's actually almost 100%. Sweet. I will put that shirt on. Worse condition than my current one. Right boot, 83%. That's a better condition than that one. Ooh, this is actual whiskey. And it's actually worth a shit ton. Okay, I'm actually going to use that to clean up my rags. Yeah. Yeah, let's sanitize my rags and get those on my wounds instead of the nasty shit that I've got now. Oh, I gotta wait. Perfect amount. Three good clean uh, rags, four, three dirty ones. Oh, this wound is healed actually. Nice. Shove the dirty rags in the back and the clean one here. And good to go. Okay, one more. Hmm. And full of jelly bears. Don't mind if I do. Should contain all the nutrients and vitamins and minerals that I need, right? Maybe. 
Ooh, 84% plastic shopping bag. Nice. In fact, this one's so close to breaking. I'm just going to dump it right now. Go to 21%. And put the good one in there, too. Actually, yeah, it's probably a good idea not to put the additional plastic shopping bag inside of the one that's going to break. Because if I forget this plastic shopping bag and, you know, the contents get left on the ground somewhere and I totally forget that I actually, it broke, or I just never notice, then at least I actually have a plastic bag to use. Packet of Flynn's fancy style ketchup. Mmm, ketchup packets. <laughs> I've hit a new low. My bar didn't even go up a single tick. Alright, then you start purifying some water. Also, I might as well put this in my hand. Eighty-six percent. It's gonna last a very long time. Let's uh I want all of this stuff in one spot. Okay. I want all my like med supplies in one spot. Let's do that. Meds, rags. Let's flip that. There we go. Shove this stuff in here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Any water that I drink in the future should absolutely be purified. Gotta remember to do that. Oh, I'm actually at the bottom of the map. Just gotta go straight right now. Hmm? No, it's empty. I guess I'll keep getting food, huh? Let's do this song and dance again. Slipped on a rock. <laughs> While navigating some broken, messy terrain, uh, mossy terrain, you slip and land on the wet stone. Well, a painful setback, you're thankful it wasn't worse. Looks like it did nothing. Okay. Good. Okay, now it's... Yeah, I should sleep. It's time to sleep. Oh, Jesus. There's a dead body here. Ugh. <laughs> you know what? <gasps> Night vision goggles. They have no charge, but holy shit. Must have been from the body, I guess. Anyway, back to the humanoid corpse. Do you know what you can do with corpses? Corpse plus where are they at? Plus shard equals all the meat you can eat. Yeah. But... I'm not that desperate yet. So, no. Hmm. What do you think's better, a sharpened spear or a crowbar? Just in terms of a weapon, I would think the sharpened spear would be better. Stabbing versus blunt. Not to mention, a crowbar is really not very long. Whereas the spear, I'm assuming, is. But I will keep it, because it can help me scavenge. Hold on, I just had another thought. What if I use the trapping skill? Does that do anything? 
I'm kind of scared. Okay, see, <laughs> I was thinking, if you use the trapping skill, when you're cutting up an animal, you get its hide. I was thinking, can you, like, like cut off a human's, like, face and wear it? Or, <laughs> or something? <laughs> I don't know, it was worth a try. Would I have actually done that? Maybe. Ooh. Can make more sterilized bandages. Cool. Yeah, there's some really high value stuff here. Jesus. Night vision goggles. $161 worth of whiskey. And a shitty boot. I mean, it's a good boot, but it's in bad condition. Oh, is it? oh wait, wait, wait. There's stuff inside of here. I never even thought to check the pockets of clothes. What is that? Sleeping pills. Well, I don't have uh, insomnia, so that's probably not going to be a problem, but I will take it anyway. Super cool. This game is so awesome, isn't it? Yeah, insufficient charges. You know, I think I actually might... I'm not sure how it works. I might be able to charge this up when I get to the DMC. That is, the glow. I, I know I saw some charging things there. I'm not sure how it works, though. I don't know if it's, like, universal or if I actually need a battery item. Uh, I'm really not sure. Okay, do I have everything I want? Yes. The only thing I wanted to do is sterilize more bandages. In fact, I'm just going to sterilize them all. Yeah, I forget the dirty rags. I mean, I'll keep them. I, they're, I'm sure they're useful for something else that doesn't actually need clean stuff, but I'm definitely not going to be using dirty rags for bandages anymore, that's for sure. Right, I was going to sleep. So, to sleep, I need to combine that with string and some sticks. Shit, I think I need more string. Yeah, I need more string. Okay. I need to cut these up. And I'll go ahead and cut that up, too. Where's my Sharpie Sharpie? There's my Sharpie. Take string, make big string. Big string, good. Good big string. And plus tarp, plus wood. Where's, there's wood. There we go. Do I want to make a fire? No, my temperature's fine. Camp in the woods makes my it actually makes my concealment go down, but my shelter goes slightly up. Okay, I guess I'll go with my concealment higher. I, I don't know. Well, that wrecks my concealment, but I should get a good night's sleep. And if I can, I can always take sleeping pills. Okay, let's rest. Well, fuck me. Am I crazy or did my sleepy, my weariness, like, not go up pretty much at all? If it did go up, it certainly didn't go up as much as I'd like. <sighs> well, now that I can move, I, I can't waste time sleeping. Especially not with them when I'm malnourished. <laughs> the corpse is still here. 85 kilograms of meat. Well, it's not all meat. Most of it is... I mean, most of that weight, I suppose, is probably not meat. But still. Actually, no, I guess most... I don't know. Would most of the weight of a human body be meat, or... I'm not sure. Anyway, it's a lot of meat. I'm really tempted to do it. 
if for no other reason than to escape the tedium of constantly finding squirrels. If only I can get a deer. I know I've seen deer around. Actually, killing it, though, would be pretty difficult. In fact, I would think it'd be pretty much impossible without a ranged weapon. I mean, realistically, in the real world, has anyone ever been able to sneak up on a deer? In, in melee range and, like, stab it to death? With a spear? Is that even possible? In general? Just, like, out in the wild? I mean, of course, you can always, I don't know, build a trap and corner it or something, but... I mean, if you just go up to a deer in the woods, no matter how careful you are, they're gonna know you're there, right? You have to be at a range, so you need a bow or a weapon. Range weapon of some sort, I would think. I mean, I suppose I could throw the spear. Even then, though, you'd have to throw the spear pretty far. To throw it from a range that a deer would not detect you from. I'm not sure. Anyway, it's all... None of that really matters at the moment, because I haven't seen any deer. Okay, well, on that note, on my conundrum of whether to eat the human being or not, I think I'm going to end this episode. I'm actually really happy with how this life is going. It it started out terrible. It started out with me wanting to find something, and I couldn't find it, and then I almost froze to death, and then some asshole stole all of my stuff, all of my medicine, and then I thought I was about to... Yeah, I thought I was about to freeze to death and die right there. But somehow I've managed to pull it together. I'm actually doing okay. I need food, I need water, and I really need to sleep, but I've actually got a decent amount of stuff. Alright, so I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I will be back soon.